welcome back to my channel I've just come back from work uh, A bit tired But I think I'll shoot a video first Before taking my dinner and having a shower This is the top that I wore for work today Okay, guess What is the video that I'm going to do now? Able to guess? No, 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 no No prize for a correct guess Okay, by the way Today I'm going to do a What's in my bag? video uh, but this time it will not be a bag but a wallet instead okay this is a sarah uh, louis Vuitton wallet that i've been using for the past three years uh i really love this wallet so much okay uh, normally i will use a wallet for less than one year probably two three months and i'll just change it again and change it again because sometimes the wallet just don't last or I just tend not to like uh, the wallet after a period of time. However, for this wallet, I've been using this for three years. Okay, uh, this wallet was purchased from Ion Orchard Louis Vuitton outlet at the price of eight hundred and fifty Singapore dollars. I'm not too sure what is the price of this Sarah wallet um, now, but at that point of time, three years back, it cost eight hundred and fifty Singapore dollars. Okay, without further ado, let's proceed with the what's in my bag. Firstly, uh, let me orient you on this wallet. This wallet has a gold button. Uh, that says uh, Louis Vuitton um, It has Four card slot here And Six card slots In here Apart from the Six plus four Apart from the ten card slots It also has uh, One, two, three Three compartment Plus one coin compartment Without further ado, let's proceed to see what's in my wallet. In the first four cards compartment, I have my Starwood Preferred card. My ANZ credit card. My POSB passion card and my Singapore Airlines Free Flyer card. For the next uh, six card compartment, I have CIMB Islamic card. My OCBC ATM card, my Senate Chartered Credit Card, my Singapore Driving License, my NRIC card. Next card is the Global Blue. Shop tax free card. I got this card during my uh, Europe trip last December when I shopped for uh, some luxury uh, goods and I hope to use this card again because I really hope to visit Europe one more time. Not one more time. Lots more time. <laughs> okay, uh, so far there's no plan for another Europe trip. However, I really hope to be able to return to Europe someday. Okay, let's see what's in my this compartment. Okay, this compartment contains um, S car, a uh, menu card. S car is actually a spa in Batam, so I took this uh, menu card uh, when I was in Batam. I think a couple of months back for a spa. Okay, and this is my Innisfree membership card. 
I really love Innisfree uh, products. I hope you too. They really have nice items. <sighs> And this is my passport size photo. The next card is actually the Honey Beauty Parlor card. I picked up this card when I did my trading at uh, the Bazaar Ramadan that's located in Gelang Serai uh, last month. So, uh, so for those of you who are staying in Singapore and would like to um, track your eyebrow, probably you would like to visit them. They have three outlets, Farrah Park, at Block 41 Cambridge Road, uh, at Paya Lebar, which is located uh, in City Plaza. The unit number is 01-105, and also uh, one located in Tampines, at Block 483, Tampines Street 43, unit number 01-194. Okay, and one of the compartments also contains hey, another Esca card. Okay, and this is actually a uh, Esca Hotel uh, name card. Okay, Esca Spa also have a hotel called Esca Hotel. So for those who uh, will be heading to Batam and have no idea where to stay, probably you can consider Esca Hotel as uh, one of your uh, accommodation option um, prob mm, okay I do not have I don't I don't have any details about this hotel but definitely you can visit their website at www.skhotel e -S -K -A -H -O -T -E -L com. and all these are just receipt I love keeping receipt and also my Watson membership card. I love Watson. I love Watson as much as I love industry. And the next card that I'm going to show you is my Starbucks card. I simply enjoy sitting at Starbucks. Chilling around, drinking coffee, and of course eating cheesecake. Or other cakes. The last few items that I've taken out from my wallet is uh, some uh, money notes. And it is... A 5 US dollar note, a 20 ringgit Malaysia note, a 50 ringgit Malaysia note, and last but not least is the 10 ringgit Malaysia notes. I love going to Johor Bahru, in short JB, that's located in Malaysia. JB is a state in Malaysia that's located just beside uh, Singapore, and I love going JB. Uh, due to its um, currency conversion, uh, which is 1 is to 3. Meaning, uh, if you were to change 10 Singapore dollars, you'd be able to get 30 ringgit Malaysia in return. Uh, so, I would say that most Singaporeans uh, tend to go to JB to shop for groceries, clothing, and other items. And that's the end of my video for today. Thank you for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And if you are already a subscriber, I would like to thank you for supporting me. Bye and have a nice day. Mwah.